Hello everyone, I am Rahul and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the new movie review of Prisoner's Daughter. It's a cat vaccine and Brian Cox can't save a muddling drama. In a month filled with a blockbuster release, the Prisoner's Daughter quietly sneaked into a theatre as a small scale drama about second chases and toxic pattern. It's admirable goal with a Brian Cox and the cat picks in lead roles. The movie had everything to deliver an emotional exploration of hardship of everyday life. Unfortunately, Catherine Hardwick's latest movie is Misfire. Prisoner's daughter Cox Priya Max, a former mob informer who spent the last 12 years in prison, will Max made a lot of money through violence he is respected by the warden who places the imminent commitment to guiding his peer of sobriety program. That's why after Max is diagnosed with terminal cancer, he is offered a of chance to spend his last few months on house arrest instead of floating in a cell. The problem is that Max only family is his daughter, Maxine, to whom he's not spoken since he was arrested. To complicate matter, Maxine is currently caring for a split son, Azara, on a Christopher Conway, dealing with her drug addict ex-husband, Tyron Reston, and fear of vacation due to the struggle to pay her mortgage. Even so, Maxine eventually agreed to talk her father, kicking off a family drama that can't do justice for integrated concept. As expected, Max's journey outside prison includes the contrading his past crime and making up for lost time. At the same time, Maxine is invited to forgive her father, realize how she also made bad choice. They are now returning to haunt her. There are many ways to tackle this story, such as turning into a tale of redemption or using the complicated relationship between Max and Maxine to capture how people can become trapped in cycle of violence. Every turn of the society, we can't feel prisoner doctrine is trying to be clever and sensitive. However, the lack of constancy between the scene result in a movie that tries to preach non-violence will simultaneously showing how violence solves complex issues. I thought it seemed like the story of prisoner doctor was born from a compelling idea of Taki could not develop without making each new scene more bland and predictable. Then the last one hoping that the inherent melodrama of the premise would be sufficient to elevate a melodic script, script. Without question, the cast is the highlight as the film as Cox and Backlin approach the their respectively part with sincerity and commitment. It's also important to underline how the conveys wasted prison daughter in movie field with a one-dimensional character. Isara Flatness makes the young actor stick out to a short thumb in already mad okay story. The fans of Cox and Backlin's work might still enjoy some moment of prisoner total. The overall lack of polish in the script make for a dull experience that filled with a inconstant sadly when a family drama can only be as strong as its story. The lack of focus in the prisoner daughter completely sabotage its cast. This movie is a C rating and prisoner daughter come to theaters on June 30. So thank you so much and please subscribe my YouTube channel.